Zambia yesterday on the 3rd of December 2021 through our genomic sequencing laboratory at the UNSA School of Medicine, uh, Veterinary Medicine did detect three SARS-CoV-2 Omicron variant isolates from among samples from individuals who tested positive for COVID-19 in the last one week. Omicron is a variant of the SARS-CoV-2 that the World Health Organization designated as a variant of concern, BOC, on 22nd of November, 2021. This means it has potential for increase in transmission, more severe disease, for example, increased hospitalization or deaths, reduced effectiveness of treatments or vaccines, or diagnostic detection failure. Fellow countrymen and women, the three cases of the Omicron virus in Zambia were detected in the following individuals. One, a man living in Lusaka district with a history of recent international travel. This man is fully vaccinated and is, he is in stable condition, displaying mild flu-like symptoms and remains in isolation. The second person is a man who lives in Chibombo district with a history of recent international travel, he is currently without symptoms and is in isolation. This individual is fully vaccinated against COVID-19. The third person is a woman in Lusaka district who initially presented herself as an outpatient at one of our hospitals in Osaka with mild flu-like symptoms and was treated for COVID-19. She has no history of international travel and is unvaccinated for COVID-19. I want to appeal that we should all support our dear ones who are suffering from this terrible infection and avoid discriminating against them, even as we continue to focus on heightened surveillance, contact tracing, and genomic sequencing in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Fellow countrymen and women, it is not yet clear whether Omicron is more easily spread from person to person compared to other variants. The severity of disease following infection with the Omicron variant is yet to be understood. There is currently no information to suggest that symptoms associated with Omicron are different from those associated with other variants. However, preliminary evidence suggests there may be an increased risk of reinfection with Omicron as compared to other variants of concern, but infection is however limited. On a positive note, the current vaccines remain effective against severe disease and death. While further studies are underway to understand the potential impact of this variant on existing countermeasures, it is clear that vaccines continue to play a critical role, a critical role in controlling the COVID-19 pandemic. The Omicron has been reported in many countries especially with the Southern African region, leading to restrictions and travel bans to many countries in Europe and the Americas. I wish to announce that the National Heart Hospital will be our main COVID-19 isolation center. However, other designated facilities will continue to manage patients in their jurisdiction. While our frontline personnel work hard to prevent and control the COVID-19 pandemic, it remains key and critical that everyone continues to adhere to the public health and social measures as well as to get vaccinated. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Akainde Ichilema, remains concerned over the well-being 
of everyone in the country and sends a personal request to all Zambians to take personal responsibility to protect themselves from COVID-19. He further urges all eligible persons to get vaccinated against COVID-19. The president has emphasized protect yourselves, but also protect your loved ones. The responsibility to contain the COVID-19 and prevent further transmission and related disease starts with the individual and requires concerted efforts by the communities and institutions. If everyone of us strictly adheres to the public health social measures coined in the five golden rules and all those who and all those pre-qualifies to take the COVID-19 vaccine, that is all who are 18 years and above in our country would timely contain outbreak and possibly prevent a severe fourth wave. Let me emphasize the five golden rules. Wear your mask correctly and consistently, covering your mouth, nose, and chin. Two, wash your hands frequently with soap and water or use alcohol-based sanitizer. Three, keep physically distanced when with other people of not less than one meter. Four, avoid crowded places, and I may add that you should all avoid unnecessary travel. Five, last, not the least, seek medical attention early enough when and well, and get fully vaccinated against COVID. As I conclude my brief, allow me to acknowledge the, of, the efforts of our local scientists, including the Zambia Geno Genomic Sequencing Consortium, which is the Zambia National Park Public Health National Reference Laboratory, uh, UNZABET, UTH Biology Laboratory, TDC, TDRC, CHAS, Matcha Research Trust, PATH, USCDC, JICA, Hokkaido University, UK Health Security Agency. I also acknowledge the Africa CDC, WHO, and other partners for the support to the genomics uh, sequencing. I also applaud the Zambia National Public Health Institute and the larger Minister of Health, which continues to hold the response responsibly supported by all weather partners and multi-sector stakeholders who remain committed to ensuring we prevent and control the COVID-19 and indeed other diseases that threaten our well-being. I sincerely pay a special gratitude to the general public for the positive response we have seen in the past few days and weeks to the vaccination campaign and to the public health measures. These interventions are crucial, especially as we enter the festive season. Members of the press, countrymen and women, I thank you and may God bless you all.